Native Instruments might have dropped the hardest machine expansion of all time? Well, let's find out. Trantendo. What is going on, peoples? We're checking out Crate Cuts. It's a NI machine expansion that works on both machine and the MPC. More about that in a little bit. But we're gonna check out a couple of the drums and stuff like that. I'm gonna weigh in with my pros and cons and you're gonna see if it's good or not. The link will be in the description box if you wanna check it out on your own. It's 50 bucks. Yeah, pretty steep price, but we're gonna find out if it's good or not. So one of the main things I really like about this is the arrangement of the groups and stuff like that. So, you know, this is the group from the beginning of the video, so. And as you can see, it's, it's arranged very well. Like. I find it to be very useful the way that everything is laid out, drums, you know. This is everything that a finger drum, you can tell that a finger drummer actually made this. So about that, so we're in groups right now and you know, the groups are probably the best part about this, this kit is that they're well organized. So this is one of my favorite ones right here. So uh, let's check it out. messed up on that but yeah really cool just one kid out of there and i was already inspired and you know that's pretty much what kids supposed to do or at least the group so i have some of my favorites here let's check that one out hey 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 well well does it work on the mpc well the answer is yes and i'll show you how right now so in order to get it on your mpc you have to have this software called kit maker it is a third party outsourced software that isn't affiliated with either akai or the enrichment so you know just let you know i use it all the time regardless though and as you can hear in the new update to kit maker you can hear the previews and stuff like that and it will arrange everything and give it the same pad colors as the the machine plus or the machine mark three so i'm gonna grab take care i think take care was one i was checking out all right Of these drums boy and if you was wondering yes there are some pretty legitimate one shots in here like really good stuff i mean i probably think this is the most well put together kit i've said that probably like a bajillion times but yeah samples claps everything snares let's go on the snares real quick i'll just type in snare and there, there we go snare get some loudness on them 
Yeah, it's, it's a lot of good shit. Mm. So tell me how you feel about this video. Wow. Uh, I, I can't say anything really negative about this. I, I want to so bad. Uh, the first thing, yeah, it's not really a chill cow lo-fi type drum kit like I thought it was. That was my initial thought when I heard the demos, but after playing with it, and I mean playing with it, like I actually was finger drumming uh, with it and it's well organized. And I find that to be an issue with a lot of the Native Instruments expansions is that they're not put together very well. Sometimes you just get a lot of fluff in between stuff. And yeah, sometimes they do sound really good with that fluff in between, but yeah, this one, absolutely useful for anything. I think it's like really hard for you not to come up with a, it's almost easy the way you'll come up with beats with this, but yeah, the drum textures, especially the snares, spot on to anything that I would like. The sample's very good. You could just dig up whatever samples that you want and you'll be surprised of the results that you get. The biggest surprise, as I use surprise for the bajillion of time, is the loops. The loops are incredible incredible loops percussion especially i i don't i don't know what to say i'm actually flabbergasted do i give this the stamp of approval david Rand smith you did a damn good job i ain't gonna even front 100 percent 100